Howdy all of you delicious people. I'm here today to review Invasion Episode 9. So if the very big if the very last episode was to tell us that the world is basically ending, that like uh all is to be lost, we're all gonna die kind of thing. In this episode we have this drastic turnaround to tell us that well, yeah, I guess not all hope is lost, that eventually we're going to figure out some way to eventually beat these things within a whole episode. Luckily for us, I guess, right? So, going into this episode, we end up having, of course, where the Anisha family is seemingly being in much more trouble than they were in previous times. We also have it uh, that... Trevante and Casper are continuing on their story of being uh, now going to this hospital. We end up having, of course, uh, Mitsuki going and talking to Hinata, supposedly, via this uh, kind of conversation that these two are having uh, and we're the whole time having other people kind of hearing their conversation and kind of wondering whether or not it really is uh, Hinata that Mitsuki is really talking to and so on and so forth. So with that said, let's, uh, yeah, let's just really crank open and freaking just call it a day and go into that double five time territory and let's just go into spoilers because really I just talked pretty much about everything uh let me know in the comments below what technically is your favorite like story for every one of these episodes or really just uh like come up with your own thoughts or your own kind of theories of what is eventually going to happen uh leading into the next episode maybe possibly uh some people may think of what is to go on uh to the next episode because really this episode is to be a life or death episode that some people may continue to live or some people may unfortunately die in this episode so with that said let's go into that double five time territory let's just go into spoilers about this one so let's go into spoiler time spoiler time it's about the time you spoil this episode so if anything i probably want to easily kind of cover like the Mitsuki episode, uh, part of the episode first. Not that the Mitsuki story is easy. It's just that I want to get that out of the way so I can have other things to cover. So Mitsuki is to also start off this episode. I think that's the real reason why I wanted to cover this. So Mitsuki is going on and having us start this episode off with a flashback of when Hinata and Mitsuki were in her place. And so we end up having, of course, uh, Hinata going and talking to Mitsuki about David Bowie because coincidentally, Mitsuki is to have a David Bowie poster on her wall. And so she's like, oh, uh, David Bowie fan, huh? Like, well, like, I guess you and David Bowie are kind of like one and the same, right? And so, but eventually Hinatis realized that David Bowie is kind of an alien and Mitsuki is more like space. And Hinata is to mention like, well, if anything, it's a good thing that I'm an astronaut because I can head into space as much as I want to. And so... We end up having these two talking about it, and eventually that leaves this passionate lovemaking session that is to, of course, be the very beginning of this episode. So then we, of course, push on to have Mitsuki going and talking to Hinata. And so we have it to where, of course, at first, Hinata is to say Waja, and we actually get to see Hinata actually in space going back into the uh, the spaceship and going and seeing some videos and stuff like that. But 
like we're kind of like not sure exactly if this is Hinata we're really talking to or maybe if the aliens have like their like like their synthesizers or something like that that is kind of uh, not actually Hinata it's maybe just the voice so really right away they're they're thinking that maybe we should shift somebody else to talk to her besides Mitsuki but then they're like well no maybe we may not never get this like a conversation again so maybe we should just keep having her talk to her but they're also thinking that maybe this isn't even Hinata and maybe this is the enemy that she's talking to instead and so cue them going to Hinata's father and asking like well you're a sound expert but then this is also your daughter so like do you think that this is actually Hinata and so uh Ikuro is to say well here's the thing it sounds like my daughter but my daughter isn't breathing you can tell in the recording that she's not taking a breath at any point during the conversation so more than likely this probably is the enemy so Mitsuki eventually finds out that they had stopped the transmission and she runs back out there to say it's like well hey turn this back on like I'm gonna try and talk to her and so they're like, well, we're thinking that it's possibly the enemy. And so she's like, well, well, then let me figure out a way to figure this out. So Mitsuki goes out there and is to go and ask Hinata, like, what they were talking about when they were together once before. And so Hinata is to all of a sudden play uh, the David Bowie song. And coincidentally, we end up having uh, Ikiro, who is to be Hinata's dad, just saying like, well, yeah, like, uh, my daughter is a big David Bowie fan. So like, coincidentally, both Mitsuki and Hinata, I guess, were a perfect match anyways, because both of them were big David Bowie fans. So I guess that was the kind of like, huh, like, what a coincidence, because Hinata was actually a big David Bowie fan also. So, we eventually have uh, Mitsuki lose this transition again, and we eventually find out that's because the American general had decided to go and nuke that area because he naturally assumes that it's the alien, and what better way to have like uh, somebody keeping them busy and just nuke that area and wipe it out so that's kind of like at the end of this uh episode what everybody is kind of seeing in the sky so now that that technically is covered uh because the american general was to say it's like well hey i'm gonna go and tell you right now that i'm gonna go and and if i have to kill one person to save a billion that's what i'll do and Mitsuki is going and, and talking to this general in English. And he's like, oh, so you do speak English? And she's like, yeah, of course I do. So now let's transition to the Anisha story, which actually is probably the easiest out of everyone else to talk about here. So Anisha is to, of course, go on and they had figured out some way via Anisha or one of her family members to figure out how to beat these aliens to where all of a sudden we find out that it seems they are pouring acid over these alien like things and the aliens are crumbling and the alien things are crumbling and dying off. So like, oh my God, you must have figured something out here. So, all of a sudden, because they can't figure exactly what the cause of this new thing is, they have gone on to decide, well, like, we're going to go and take your whole family, 
and send them off somewhere so that way you guys can be protected because evidently you are to be this like kind of cure to what's going on here which is this alien invasion so eventually this whole family is to go off into these military vehicles which all of a sudden end up getting uh attacked by these civilians and so all of a sudden we end up having the this kind of firefight between or this kind of uh war between these civilians and the military and so we go off and we have uh the military going and telling the anisha family to just run so they start running and then eventually we end up having the anisha family just hiding out in the woods and so all of a sudden we end up having of course that uh, the civilians are just making their way through the forest. I guess a lot of the military guys had been just killed all off. And so Ahmed is saying like, well, hey, like I'm going to give you guys a chance because they have guns and we don't. Like I'm going to give you guys a chance to run off and just get as far as you can and I'll just kind of delay them. So Ahmed goes off and is to find some guy in military like a military outfit thinking that oh like he was one of those men uh that i was previously with to just find out the opposite that this guy is actually just in this outfit but he's not actually a military guy so this guy is to of course persuade uh ahmed to go and and call out to his family and instead he ends up calling out for angelo which is not anisha's name telling her to like, Hey, whatever I'm saying here, don't do it. Just go on and keep going to where we eventually find Anisha going further into the forest. And weirdly she sees an infected part of this forest where she, uh, goes on and is to, of course, uh, use this kind of peace to eventually find out that this infected forest infected by the aliens as if this is kind of like some pacific rim or possibly some like apocalypse like thing where eventually an alien forest is like infecting the forest so anisha goes further and further into this infected alien part of this forest to eventually find out that this like either Anisha or this metal piece that they have, or I'm assuming more likely Luke is to eventually be the X factor to eventually kill off these aliens and hence why they can walk through this infected forest without anything happening. So we end up going on and having that kind of like solve that whole problem. So we now end up going on to, of course, the Trevante Jack Casper story and Jamila. So we have, of course, Trevante, Casper, and Jamila going in to this hospital. And so we have this one random doctor that conven conveniently can go on and work an MRI machine and everything like that. So we end up having uh Trevante who is to tell this doctor hey like this kid needs to of course get a controlled seizure and so you're gonna do that for him and she's like no like that like this kid could die like I'm not gonna do that and so we have Trevante who is saying like well like I'm sorry I don't know how many times that I've seen kids being experimented on like against their will and so on and so forth so like, you can do this for me now because I told you to do it. So we end up having Casper, who, of course, to be hooked up to this MRI machine. And so we have it to where Casper is going and talking to Jamila before he ends up going in there. And so, like, Casper is going and telling Jamila to go and, like, find her mother and talk to her and whatever. And so we end up having casper who goes into this mri machine and so trevante is going and talking to him and so uh to have a familiar 
voice. So we end up having Casper, who is to talk to Gervonta, because Gervonta had mentioned that he has problems with hospitals. And so Casper ends up asking Gervonta why. Gervonta is to mention that supposedly his kid was at some point sick, and that's all that he really wants to talk about that, because Gervonta doesn't really much say much of anything about anything. So Casper is to, of course, go on and and be asked certain questions like Trevante is to mention about his parents and Casper is to mention that his mother is dead and then like he ends up of course talking about his dad so after we end up having all these like questions and all these things being rattled off we end up having of course the nurse going in and saying like okay well like we're going to start this machine now and like eventually just kind of keep your eyes wide open and eventually you'll start to have these seizures so uh now casper goes on and is to of course start to have a seizure and he starts seeing all these weird and wild images so casper goes on and is to of course have the seizure and then he is to realize that the aliens are coming because he is to sense that so all of a sudden we end up seeing in this window that two aliens are coming into this hospital and so he's like okay we gotta we gotta go we gotta run and so these aliens are coming in and so casper is to tell trevante where exactly they're coming from so i'm like okay so this guy is like a radar or this guy just knows where they all are and plus he's consistently having these seizures going and kind of um, telling where they are, kind of talking to them or whichever. We end up having to the nurse in the MRI is to tell Trevante that supposedly uh, Casper's brain is getting weirdly reprogrammed for some goofy reason. And so we eventually end up having Trevante and Casper and Jamil kind of run into this one hallway. And so uh, eventually Trevante is trying to put Jamil and Casper in one room and lock them away, thinking that he can protect them and eventually go and use one of these uh, uh, kind of like oxygen tank like things as some kind of flamethrower and kill one of the aliens but all of a sudden another alien is coming through the ceiling tiles and so he's like okay get out of that room so i can go and protect you guys so we end up having eventually that the aliens are kind of like crashing their way and killing people and trying to get to uh casper but eventually end up having to kill people in the process so Eventually, we have, a, at some point, uh, Trevante, Casper, and Jamil surrounded and surrounded by multiple aliens. And so we have it where Casper is kind of communicating with them and talk to them, and he's getting in their head, and he's telling them to stop. He's telling them to stop, and they end up, of course, uh, just completely stopping and they end up all dying, I'm assuming. And so Trevante is to just go like, okay, like, I guess we <laughs> we beat them or temporarily pause them or whichever. So all of a sudden, Casper is to kind of fall over. And so Trevante is to go and pick up Casper and take him outside of this building to eventually realize that, like, he's... Like, he's not breathing anymore, that he's possibly dead. And so we end up having, of course, Gervonta, who is now, like, giving uh, Casper CPR and is, uh, like, assuming to try to bring him back to life. And we're kind of naturally assuming that this kid is probably dead at this point. Here's the thing. So, like, I guess... Uh, Jamila's mother, like, we don't get to see her at all. <laughs> like, I guess, like, she may not even be alive still. 
we don't know what the fate of Jamila's mother is, so we'll figure that out. So, other than that, I think I did cover most of this, unless there's some kind of other thing that I forgot about, which I'm sure there is. Um, but yeah, like, that was kind of a really quick review for like an hour-long thing. But I probably skipped around about a lot of stuff, and I didn't go to heavily into dialogues, but uh, yeah. That's, I think, it for episode 9. A really quick review, but I wanted to try to get this done quickly. So, I'm, yeah, I feel like I'm going to get out of here. So, bye everybody. Bye everybody.